Welcome back to First Class Film Sessions. In this skill session episode, we're going to cover underhand shooting. Undertaught, but often seen, underhand shooting is a skill that some of the most elite goal scorers have in their arsenal. Not to be confused with sidearm shooting, underhand shooting is a great tool to add to your game. Nobody does it better right now in the NCAA than Denver's Ethan Walker and top-ranked Penn State's Mac O'Keefe two lefties who are two of America's most lethal snipers. Similar to overhand shooting, one of the keys to shooting underhand is being able to have a consistent release despite where you are placing it. Walker and O'Keefe display the ability to shoot to all spots of the net with the same looking release. This adds an added layer of deception and makes your shots less predictable. If you always shoot high when you drop your hand, smart goalies will be all over it. The stick path of both of these shooters works north-south rather than east-west, which is seen in sidearm shooting. This allows their sticks to work up and down the pipe, providing more margin for error on the six-foot net. The result is a deadly accurate shot, rather than a ball that misses east or west of its target. The other major benefit of an underhand release is the ability to get shots off in tighter spaces. Because the stick is coming underhand, similar to a golf stroke, Walker and O'Keefe need less room from approaching defenders to get shots off. This is often evident when both players perform the answer move. When they step back and separate from their defenders, the space to release a shot is limited. The underhand motion allows them to release it cleanly as if they were teeing up a golf ball with their fairway driver. The art of underhand shooting is not an easy one, but with an emphasis on consistency, it can be a great advantage. I hope you enjoyed this segment and stay tuned on First Class Lacrosse for webinars and summer training opportunities.